Hi guys, so I'm back with another video. Um, I'm doing a current uh, favorites video. I don't do monthly favorites videos because I don't buy a lot of stuff every single month. So this is just things that I'm loving at the moment that I've been trying um, for a while. So if you're interested in that, then keep watching. Hi guys, so I know I'm like in a new outfit. This is actually like a couple days after I videotaped the original video. But I was in the middle of editing and I realized that this section didn't have sound. So I'm going to record this first section um, that didn't have sound again. And then you'll see the rest of the original video. So I started off with my lip products. And um, just for like a conditioning or like a chapstick type of situation, I usually go towards my EOS lip balms and as you can see this one is like all the way gone if you know these you know they have like a dome right here of straight up chapstick I've used mine completely up I need to get some more um I love these they come in all different types of flavors this is like a I don't know what flavor or scent this is but it's really good they taste good they feel really soothing and it's really nice to put these on before you put on lipstick really nice base for that kind of stuff so if you have like a Target or CVS or whatever around you, you should go pick one of these up. For lipstick, I've been loving these um, Revlon lipsticks. This, they're super lustrous lipstick creams. I like these because they're really creamy, really moisturizing. They're not too drying and they don't look like crazy um, on your lips. Uh, and then lately I've been using this color. You know, really nice pink color. This is called Pink Velvet, I think. Yep. Really, really nice color for the spring and summertime, so yeah. And then for glosses, I've actually been using these e.l.f. glosses. Now, these are like a dollar on the e.l.f. website. Um, I've really been using this color, Goddess, which is like a nice peachy... Um, what was the word I used? I don't know, nice peachy corally type color, and then um, watermelon is a pinker color. And I've been using both of these a lot. I use this one more though. It gives like a nice little golden sheen to your lips. It's really pretty. So if you, oh yeah, and right now Elf is having a little uh, discount or whatever. If you spend more than twenty five dollars, you get free shipping and. Which is good because half, like most of their stuff is a dollar or three dollars or whatever. Or 50% off their mineral makeup. So go check out the website. I already have my order in. If you go to my blog, you can see the stuff that I ordered. And so, yeah. <laughs> Next, I'm going to talk about mascaras. Now, I use both of these mascaras at the same time. Um, but yeah you can pick these up depending on what you need now this one is the Sephora lash plumper I love this it really does thicken your lashes and I like the giant brush it comes with like it's just huge I like brushes like this it really helps I have short curly like not curly in a good way like long and curly and pretty like straight up cur curled eyelashes so they look really short so I like to thicken them up with this, make them look really thick. And then this, the Maybelline um, Colossal Volume uh, Express, has these like individual teeth in them. So these really help separate the lashes and it also helps my lashes look longer. I'm not sure exactly what this claims to do, but that's what it does for my lashes. So I like to, you know, use both of these at the same time. Now if I'm going for a more natural look, I go for this one right here. Because it separates the lashes, makes them look really long without thickening them up and making them way too dramatic. So yeah, that's that's all I had in that section. So yeah, watch the rest of the video in my other outfit. <laughs> Bye guys. So this is the Revlon Custom Eyes. This is in Sweet Innocence. And um, it says shadow and liner. But you know, I just use them all as shadows. So... It comes in really nice packaging in these long uh, little palettes. It comes with an applicator, just like a standard size one here, and then a pointy one at the end. I haven't used it though. 
and it comes with all these really really nice pigmented very very pigmented shadows um I know you can't really see them because it's so bright but I'm gonna have swatches on my blog if you want to check that out the link will be um in the description box um so yeah I know it's hard to see but really nice neutral colors for spring and summer and then I have another one but I'm gonna do a video on all my Revlon products so you'll see it then um, and just a really nice variety there's some matte ones and some shimmery ones really 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 good for a smoky eye or a neutral eye and you can do a lot of things with these so I suggest you guys go check these out and then that's it for the eye stuff mascara yeah so I'm gonna move on to foundation I've always used the bare minerals um, powder foundation um, but I had my old one for so long and then when I got the new one it was like a new formula like it doesn't it feels a lot softer and it doesn't make my face feel as dry as the original formula or whatever formula I used to have and the one I used to have didn't have this um, spinning thing that kind of closes off the powder so it doesn't get everywhere so you just tap out what you need to get and then close it and then it stays closed no more no more mess and I love that I, I love the new um, Bare Minerals and my color is in tan um, it's it's fine for me in the winter it's a little bit too dark in the winter but I can get away with it I really don't care but in the summertime this is the perfect perfect um, shade for me so tan N30 so it has uh, SPF 15 and it just really really just goes on blends really nicely and I love it so if you're looking for a good powder foundation for the summertime then you should definitely check this out um, also um, I know there's a lot of different um, cleansing wipes. I'm not saying this brand is my favorite. I'm just saying having these uh, next to my bed at night is a good idea. I used to keep these in the bathroom with the rest of my facial stuff. But then I just found myself getting lazy. And once you get settled in bed and you're like, oh, I forgot to take my makeup off. And I was like, oh, I gotta go all the way to the bathroom. But now that I have these right next to my bed, I just take my makeup off. Uh, right there and I don't have to sleep with my makeup on which you should never do but let's be real we all do it sometimes um, the ones I have uh, are from CVS so the cheapest ones I can find they get the job done and it's the um, ju just the basics cleansing and makeup remover facial towels and there's 30 in here and these are like three bucks really cheap so uh, yeah and these make your face feel really really clean afterwards and yeah, I like them. I know Elf has some um, from their studio line that a lot of people like. And a lot of people like the Costco ones. I haven't tried that. But uh, the Kirkland or whatever. A lot of people like those too. Okay, so now this isn't beauty products. This is just more like... I don't know what it is. But um, I went to Bath and Body Works. I think that's what it is. And, um, yeah, Bath and Body Works, and I picked up this whole lot, I picked up a lot of stuff, really, because they were having this big sale a while ago, um, but I picked up these, the whole little set, I just didn't get the lotion, because I got the body butter, but it's the sweet, oh, it's the butterfly, oh, I thought this was sweet pea, this is the butterfly flower, um, little collection here. So I have the body spray, which I get so many compliments on this, um, so this was this is twelve dollars on its own. This I'm not sure how much this is, or the and this is I think they're all twelve dollars on their own. But um together they have some deal where you get three, you get something for free or something. Um but I get so many compliments on this scent. You guys should really check it out. The butterfly flower. If you have a Bath and Body Works nearby, this smells so good. And then the um body or the shower gel is really good and then this um, triple moisture body cream is perfect especially after you like shave your legs and you put this on your legs feel so good and so smooth and so like beautiful I love it I love this right here 
So this is the body cream. They have a um, regular lotion, but I need something a little stronger. So I use this all over after I shower, you know, shower with the shower gel. And then whenever I'm dressed or everything, I spray this like crazy all over and I get compliments all the time. When I go to work, I always get compliments. One time I was at the bus just sitting in there and some guy walked by with his wife and she was like, oh my god, what is that scent? So, yeah, check that out. And then the, the last couple things are just random things I want to talk about. This little brush here is from Sephora. I actually saw um, Andrea's Choice do, she talked about this in one of her videos. And um, I was like, I, I needed something to wash my face with. I, do, I have my nose pierced, so I don't, I'm like paranoid about getting like a facial scrub because I don't want anything to get like messed up with my nose ring. This I can, you know, do wherever, where I want it to go and it's perfect. I don't have to worry about little beads getting stuck in weird places. So I use this on my forehead, on my chin and all that because that's usually where I get my breakouts. And, um... Um, yeah, it's really good for that. And then with the facial cleanser that I use, this works really good. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about is just these bobby pins. Um, but the cool thing about them is they come in this little retractable little thing, and you can kind of just pour them out and put them back in and snap them back, and it keeps them all together. And this is perfect because... You know, back in the day, or I guess still, when you would buy a big thing of bobby pins, they would be in that cardboard, in that cardboard thing, and you would stick them, and you would just lose them all. This keeps them all together, and, you know, I use bobby pins all the time, and just it's just really helpful to have it, and you can put it in your purse, bring it to work, and they won't get all over the place. So, yeah, that was my favorite. Not a lot of stuff, because I don't buy makeup all the time. Oh, one more thing. This is, ugh, oh my god, <laughs> I'm getting old. Okay, this is a nail polish from Zoya, and this is in Jules. I got this actually with my Birch Box um, in April, and this is such a pretty color. I know you can't see it. I'm going to have, I know I already said this, but I'm going to have swatches on my blog because it's too bright. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have swatches on my blog of, you know, everything I can swatch. Um, but this is so good. It's all like a glittery, taupey gold. And I love to put this on my toes and on my fingers. Right now, I don't... I have, like, some other ugly color on my fingernails right now. But I'm about to paint my nails. I'm about to paint my mom's nails. And we're going to have the same nail polish. And that's it. Alright, so I'm officially done. <laughs> if you guys watched the whole thing, thank you for sticking around my rambling video. And, um, yeah, for more updates... Um, you guys should really check out my Twitter and my blog. I'll have the links down below. Bye! <laughs>